guys, gals. I'm gonna try something a little bit different uh, with a competition tonight. Uh, it's gonna be an IDPA uh, competition, but it's gonna be low light. So what I'm gonna try to do is use this as a training tool um, instead of just going out there and competing and trying to win the match. I'm gonna actually use this to better myself with the weapon light and, and so forth. Uh, one thing when you're going out and you're using a competition for a training tool, uh, try not to get in everybody's way and slow the whole process down. That's not what this is about. Um, what we wanna try to do is uh, the money that we pay for match fees and everything, try to get as much as possible out of it within reason. Always remain safe, uh, watch your 180, uh, watch your finger discipline, and use this as a, a cool little niche for your training. Uh, it might entice other folks to do the same, but as long as you don't foul up somebody else's competition experience, some people are out there and they're going out there and they're going out there to win. What I'm trying to do is uh, take some footage, uh, use this as a training tool for myself, and maybe pass on some ideas that I have onto others. So what I'll be using tonight is a Walther PDP. It's the, uh, the compact model, plus a Parker Mountain machine uh, compensator, single port, X300, 1K, weapon light. Uh, it's pretty much standard except for some nice filler here for the, uh, the support hand. It's a hollow sun. Uh, this is the 509T. I usually use the circle only reticle. And uh, I'm gonna be shooting this out of a tier one concealed. It's the uh, modern samurai project holster. It's the two-parter, so you can get the mag magazine uh, further away from the gun so you're not all crippled up like some sort of dinosaur. And I'll be using that and we'll see how it goes. So this is the first stage of the match. Uh, here we make ready. Uh, the light's on for safety. The light will go off. Um, then the SO will go ahead and start you. Uh, what I wanted to do was basically manipulate the light in a tactical fashion where it's conducive for fighting. I wanted to try to go on and off. That way it'd be like a peekaboo type thing for the uh, targets downrange. Here's the light, here's the shot, here's the paint kind of thing. Here's a reload in the dark. So all the while trying to flash the target to disorient. So I didn't really need to get down here in a kneeling position behind the barrel. What I wanted to do was go ahead and play that peekaboo with the enemy downrange. If you go back and watch this, you'll see that I actually mess up because I kept my light on between the transition from left to right of the barrel. But we learn from our mistakes, right? So I wanted to give a special shout out to the match director and uh, the guys putting this on. It is a very fun thing to do. It's out of the ordinary for IDPA. They did a wonderful job of keeping it safe from uh, beginner type shooters all the way to the more advanced. When I ask you if you're ready, if you give me a verbal, I can't see your head, but okay? All right. Fight! I love you, Stu. Love you too, buddy. Everybody. Yes. So I'm gonna flash the target, move, shoot, and then go ahead and flash shoot the last target on this row. Moving on to the next array, I'm going to pie and flash, take it off, strobe, and then commence shooting the rest of the array. So going around this corner, I'm going to flash and see if there's any other threats available. This next array, I'm going to go ahead and pie it uh, all the while using my flashlight to disorient the uh, targets downrange. Do a reload shooting. After watching this, uh, you know, hindsight, I'd like to have a camera downrange to actually see if I'm presenting myself right, presenting the light correctly in some sort of fashion in order to be uh, dynamic.
So the third stage, all it is is shoot static, three shots per target in this array, reload as needed. I did, however, want to make it a little bit more challenging and do a failure drill. So two to the body, one to the head. But since this was a static stage, I wanted to get as much as possible out of it. So I was definitely practicing my manipulation at the light and I wanted to see if I could actually shoot in complete darkness. So I transitioned from uh, one shot to the body, second shot in the dark to the body, next shot to the face was in complete darkness. I felt like I got as much as I possibly could out of that stage. Some good information on how the uh, compensator flashes me in complete darkness. If I can shoot a transition from body to head in complete darkness. And it turned out to be pretty good, pretty informative. I tried shooting in the complete darkness and actually got my head shot from static cardboard targets that didn't want to move. So we just got finished with the low light match IDPA. Lots of good guys putting this stuff on. Uh, got to go out there and test and try some new techniques under the low light situations. It was fun. I didn't win, but got some good training there. And hopefully uh, it turns out because it was pretty darn dark. All right. See you next time. Thank you very much. Love you.